uh, in terms of marketing plan uh, uh, you know going forward uh, uh, there are going to be three segments that will form the marketing plan We are with uh, Rahul Bhutiyani from Adani Solar, which needs no introduction. Thank you so much for joining us for an interview. So, with capacity expected to reach six gigawatt next year, what does your uh, marketing plan look like? Uh, so, next year we our capacities would be at about four gigawatts cell and module, and uh, in 24 we will reach seven gigawatts and 25 10 gigawatts. So, that's the rollout plan for cell and module uh, capacities. Uh, incidentally, we are also doing the entire ecosystem. So, besides cell and module, we will also be uh, rolling out capacities for ringgit wafer and polysilicon, and we will reach 10 gigawatts integrated uh, polysilicon to module by 2025. Uh, in terms of marketing plan, uh, uh, you know, going forward, uh, uh, there are going to be three segments that will form the marketing plan. Uh, one of them is going to be a, a, a significant portion of this capacity that we are creating will be used for captive consumption since we have significant plans on the green hydrogen, on our overall uh, power generation where, uh, you know, green energy power generation where we are looking at maybe adding 45 gigawatts of uh, generation capacity in the next few years. Uh, and of course, green hydrogen will be a very significant uh, portion of the total uh, manufacturing capacity we have in solar. So that will be, uh, let's say, 50% of the uh, you know uh, total capacity that we manufacture every year will go towards captive consumption. Uh, balance, I think, between the 50% that's left, we will be about a 50% split between domestic and export market. So we are looking at domestic market also very significant uh, growth we are expecting in the domestic market. And exports also, there is opportunity for Indian manufacturers to because we are now relevant in terms of the product portfolio and in terms of quality parameters we are indian manufacturing sector is now capable of meeting all kinds of uh, demands of uh, international customers so uh, <coughs> speaking of exports so what do your export uh, figures look like what what is the performance on that front been like so interesting that you asked this question uh, we've uh, currently we uh, you know, last two years we had, we did not export anything because our product portfolio did not allow us to be relevant in the U.S. Uh, and U.S. is a significant market for exports. So this year, uh, since the last uh, six months, we have been focused uh, on building up an export pipeline. And currently we have uh, about 1.5 to 2 gigawatts of export orders to be delivered over the next 12 months. What about the progress on the Smart Power India MOU? Uh, what's happening on that front? Yeah, so that is a, uh, that's a very nice initiative which is uh, helping take ru uh, solar to rural yeah. India and uh, give them the ability to become self-reliant on power generation so that they don't depend on a grid at all and can be independent and uh, you know capable of uh, managing their own needs. And we have tied up with the, them, entered into an MOU to go out there and serve rural India jointly. That's progressing well. Our channel partners are getting aligned to this initiative. And uh, I think we should do some significant work in this uh, domain. So tell us about your sales breakup, retail as well as other categories. Retail is a very important uh, you know, part of our sales plan always. Uh, we believe that uh, uh, we can best serve the country if we are able to take modules to every residential customer across the country. So we have, uh, uh, you know, continued our focus. We built maybe the most efficient, most effective retail distribution network in the country today. Uh, we have uh, very promising channel partners with us and uh, covering every part of the country. Uh, our performance on the retail side has been significant on the residential rooftop segment which is a major component of the retail uh, sales space. Uh, Adani has uh, traditionally maintained a market share of over 60% and we will continue to do so. Uh, on the agri pump side, uh, <coughs> under the Kusum uh, you know, program of the government of India, uh, we have again maintained a market share of over 50%. 
and we shall continue to do so. Our aim is to ensure that we take modules right up to the last level or last home in the country. So your distribution reach also, as you just pointed out, has been uh, you know has been growing in an exponential uh, manner. So tell us, give us uh, the figures on that, please, and your expansion plans as well. Sure. So today we are, uh, you know, we have a retail network of uh, uh, channel partners, as we call them, authorized channel partners. We have over 20 channel partners across the country, covering almost all the states uh, of the country. Under this uh, authorized channel partners, we have resellers yeah. and integrators. Uh, we have touch points of over 5,000 uh, integrators across the country. And through these integrators, we reach out to the entire population of India. And uh, I would say this is one very lean, mean machine that we have created. Uh, with a very small uh, team at Adani, we have managed this whole distribution network rollout. And uh, this network uh, that we have created has been delivering consistently uh, by their superiors, customer orientation and customer service parameters. Thank you so much for Thank your you. time. Thank, Thank you. you.